popular mall in Nassau means a tax hike for homeowners in that community. Our Doug Geed has the story you'll see only on 12. It's that by the mall. Valley Stream residents, including Louise Cucci, are about to be hit with property tax bills that are much higher than they expected. Depending on where they live, bills could be as much as $750 more than last year. The reason is that the Hempstead Town Industrial Development Agency approved tax breaks for the Green Acres Mall. As a result, homeowners and businesses in the area will have to make up the difference by paying higher taxes to schools and local governments. School Superintendent Ed Fail says the higher bills will be an unwelcome surprise for residents. Earlier this year, voters approved a school budget that called for a much smaller tax hike. That would have possibly resulted in a tax increase of maybe $10 or less per homeowner. Now what we're finding out, the tax rate in the district is going to be going up by $300 a year or more. I spoke with Fred Parola, head of the Hempstead IDA by phone, who told me the agency approved the tax breaks for the mall because mall owners said in exchange they would do an expansion that would create jobs and help boost sales tax revenues. Parola told me he's convinced that the economic benefits of that would ultimately outweigh the tax consequences for homeowners. The long-term uh, perspective is one thing, but residents right now have to live with the tax bills that they're receiving. Hempstead Town officials are calling on the IDA to reconsider. Valley Stream resident Bill agrees. Be no Long Island, the taxes are very high, and to raise them for a, for a shopping mall that we don't need any more stores just seems ridiculous to me. In Valley Stream, Doug Geed, News 12 Long Island. A